Hey guys, it's Imani from Otaku Raku Tacos. I'm here today to really show you just can you spray paint, you know, shoes for cosplay or anything like that. Um, let me give you like I guess a short background of what I'm trying to do here. You see here, this is Homeweku, 2014, and I love her, she's so cute, yada yada yada. But I have a friend that's making me only the cosplay, not the hat or the scepter or the shoes or the gloves. So I'm going to be making the shoes today for you. I'm sure you're wondering, why don't I just order it online? Yeah, those prices look nice right now, but considering that I am plus size and shipping and handling and then getting it fixed, and it, it's just not going to work out. So, you know, forget that. But point is, I'm going to show you how to make these cosplay shoes today. Um, I'm going to do it in two parts, so if you just want it in one color, this will be the best video for you. Part two will show you how to do the other side. So, yeah, I hope you enjoy. Okay, so first things first, you want an old raggedy shoe that you're not going to miss anymore. You know, not too raggedy, but you know, something. And here's my first crappy, you know, roundabout pan of it. <laughs> now the first thing you really, really want to do is get rid of the laces. There's people who are like, just spray paint the laces. And please don't. No, that's just going to be a crusty mess. It's going to be really gross. Don't, don't do that. Now this lip is going to be a problem throughout the whole entire process. Anyway, so now get some newspaper and stuff your shoe because you want it to have, you know, some structure when you're spray painting it. You don't want it just, you know, flopping everywhere and going everywhere. You see that? Please push that down. You know, don't have it morphing your shoe oddly. You want it to fit properly. Now with this annoying floppy lip, I'm going to show you what to do. Simple. Get some string, tie it up. Cause it's gonna be an easy fix once you're done spray painting everything. And we're also gonna be painting the tips and the heel and the sole, but that's for later, so that's in the second video probably. Now we're in my garage, yay! Now I know you're wondering, okay, can I spray paint? Yes. It's pleather, so it's plastic based and you can hold on to that type of stuff. I was trying to show you my, my spray paint, but it will not focus. Yeah, there we go. Okay, look at that nozzle right there. You want this type of nozzle that can rotate, you know, so you can paint horizontally, diagonally, vertically. But just look at that coverage, it's perfect. And you see what I'm doing here? I'm kind of doing like long but light strokes. You don't want to try getting it all white in one sitting. Please wear gloves, I'm such a slacker. You see me checking my thumb, yeah, um, <laughs> but please do, do wear gloves, just, just to protect your own hand, it's not that bad though, it's just paint. But yeah, you really just want to continue doing that whole entire, you know, long stroke for as long as you need until your shoe is perfectly white. Now here's the harsh reality when it comes to spray painting, look at that, yep, it sticks. So you need to rotate your newspaper, you know, or add in new newspaper whenever you're doing this. This is second coat, by the way, if you were wondering. Oh, and I almost forgot, please, um, 25 minutes in between each coat. That's what it says on the can. I mean, I gave it around 25 to 35 minutes just to be careful on everything. But do what you will. Now, this is my third and will last recorded uh, spray, because I'm not going to front. This took about seven coats to fully, you know, get my boot completely white. Look at that. It's almost perfect. But wait, there's more. You gotta cut off that, you know, string that we tied up earlier. Ta-da! Yeah, it's really not that bad, so it's really, you know, one, maybe two little coats on top of that. Here's me just making the final touches in areas I thought wasn't good enough. No, um, <laughs> in areas that I just thought needed a little extra paint, just in case it looks kind of more gray than white. And you might have to do this also, so maybe this might be technically eight coats. That smooth transition, though. Anyways, now you want to spray your shoes with a water stain repellent. 
it'll help protect your shoe from everything, especially if you're going to conventions and stuff. You're going to be walking and crashing into everything, so please be careful with that. Spray about three coats of that. Now real quick, for future notice, just please leave your boots in your dry place or in your garage for eight hours, just so it doesn't, you know, chip. The paint will try to stick on your hands. Now, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was really helpful and ways um like i said for like the third time now i'll have a part two to show you what to buy and where my color will come from so yeah i hope you enjoyed thank you bye